back on the trail. Video number three. Just sizing up another uh, trail. Well, it's actually the trail that I was using year before last that goes out to the bog. But you kind of need a little bit more snow. It's hard to see, but that's almost a 45 degree slope there. So it'll be nice to get the trail broke out to the bog. Straight out there is the bog, and then straight down to the right as a notch goes straight down towards the pond. And there's one track down down there now. But this has been the first year we could get in this far. Last year it never even froze. The drillers were in there, of course, and they're everywhere. See some ribbons out there. As far as I know, they're not supposed to be anywhere handy to the bog. But they got notches going on out through here now. Surveying and everything else. So anyway, we might come in tomorrow or the next day. If I can get the big machine out of the garage and uh, get that going. That's the one for breaking trails, the old VK, with the wide track, right? There's a lot of timber on the edge of that uh, that bank will say there all the way out. So we came in this morning and done the routine here. It burns a couple tanks of gas every day, nothing serious, but we gotta start hauling now. It's the thing, it's kind of a it's unfortunate that you gotta rush at it because uh, this is Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday is calling for Sunday. I think it's four degrees, and then it's rain and snow. Kind of have a, it's kind of a rush to get it out because it's defeat the purpose if you can't uh, all this cutting for nothing, right? So we'll cut four or five pickup loads and haul it. And the lot has got to go out too, so hopefully it freezes up again. Because as you know, February is the new March these days. So another trail, see I put in here before last up over that hill see a lot of nice yeah it's a little bit limmy stuff but it's, it's kind of similar to what's down here on the left so somebody was doing a bit of cutting there and left some big tops in the way so yeah hey, lots of wood here you can go anywhere and cut a bit of wood it's nice to get your road in get established as we'll say We hit a nice stretch of weather anyway, it's like the last three or four days. It's just uh, below freezing, beautiful for cutting in the woods. You almost take your coat off. But I suspect now we never we didn't get a mild yet, as per se, in January. So and we got a lot of work to do up country, so it's a couple months now since we've been in Charlie's place. Or at least a month. So we got a lot of work to do up there, getting in on the islands and doing some surveys and stuff, and getting into places that we can't usually get to after and before, before and after freeze up. So I'm saving this little bit of wood here. This is what you call the rainy day trail. Cause I could almost get in here and quad. See, if we get some big mile and it freezes again, this is why the road maintenance comes in. You can take your quad and trailer and then you can go right to the house with a load of wood. Now I gotta be, I'm gonna start now. I'm gonna take out three or four sled loads at a time, out to the main road, pack it up on the road, go down the house, load up the trailer, truck, and come back in, pick it up, bring it home. You know, time you, time you get junk wood to the stove, he's barked. You gotta handle it that many times. But yeah, this would be the rainy day trail here because I could just go in and follow these in here. 
out on the trail put the tops over there and you could make you know two or three trips a day with the bike and cart it's not so bad and don't be long adding up buddy once you hits the 20 load mark then it's all gravy like buddy says I see a nice few dry ones out there. The original way we used to come in and see is uh, out on the edge of that little billow there. There's a, there's a little holder bit notch wet spot in between this and another little bunch. And we used to take us right out around there. But I'm not breaking that road because I know what's going to happen if I do. So we got the big double big sled down the house we usually takes the bid liner special on the B train but I got a runner crack so I gotta fix the runner so we hooks the hits the VK hooks up the bid liner special to the screw and then this one goes on the back of the other sled so one trip you gotta pick up all the wood which is not so you know it's not too bad it's not hard on the screw because you got a nice flattened road so we gotta fix the runner. Maybe a job for the weekend now if we get some mild. Put her in the garage, put a new runner on it. It's a brand new sled I just built, but the, it's my fault. I didn't put enough Loctite, I guess, on one of the bolts going through the runners and it backed off. And all the strain went on one runner, I guess, is splitting, so. Pile of air once again. We got our buddy over there now, he's just found his stash. You can't feed them, feed the, feed the uh, gray jays same time as the squirrel because uh, the gray jays usually comes and gets all this for the food. So we're a little bit cuter now, we bud. We puts a little bit down there in the hole fern. So the jays don't like getting in there. So we get to lunch. The leaves are fattening up already. Three here today. Two there. I think there's an outsider because they're they're fighting on. I had one here for the last four or five years. He had a weak spot around the back of his head, and I can't seem to find. Him. Where's Whitey to? No doubt that's two of his siblings, probably. Kind of gets attached to them when you're out there every day, feeding them. They get they eat better than I do. Yeah, so we got two straw, small trailer loads. There's probably six loads, sled loads. And I'm going to haul up three at a time, just to see if that's enough to fill up the sled. And then I'll haul another three tomorrow. So I'll probably do another video tomorrow. And we're getting ready for... The far soon, because what we so the thing about this when you're rushing, ideally you should be in here now or tomorrow is calling for like uh, zero degrees and sun. So that should be the day you should throw everything down, come in here, set up your little place. I got all the firewood kindling ready, cast iron frying pan on, and sit back and relax. But can't seem to do it. There's always a rush. And the only reason for that is because I never had no wood cut. Never cut no wood for... Usually gets at least 20 loads time to... into the fall. And then you only got another 20 to get in the winter. Plus it gives you time to get a few logs and... do a bit of other maintenance around. But now we got to do it all one time. We got tree camps to... Uh, keep the wood in. Keep the wood going to them in the house. So, I'm kind of uh, bringing load for load. Now, one load in the house for the burnt, put in, mix it with the dry, and then one load goes out in the back for the wood pile. One load goes down the cabin. So, it takes a long time to accumulate. Seems like you're running around. But, uh, time we get these two's out packed up now, though. Maybe I'll give you, show you down the house where we got it all packed. I got a little 
I need to build hunt to the shed there. Keep it all outdoors in the, in the dry. So yeah, we're gonna get the machine going now. Dodge out the road and haul out a load. Thanks for watching guys. Over and out.